What is up guys, Jonathan Giambra here, and this is Make It Easy Please. And this is my review of the SANS Reverse Osmosis Water Filtration. All right, so this is the SANS uh, Water Purifier. This is a reverse osmosis machine. Uh, I saw this advertised a lot on Instagram and Facebook. It looked really nice, so I bought this with the bundle along with the air purifier. I've had it for about three weeks now, and I've used it. The, the water tastes fine. Um, it's just a little bit cumbersome. And I guess that's why I'm doing this video. I've never used a reverse osmosis machine before. This is my first time. And there are advantages to it. There are also disadvantages to it. I'm actually going to be sending this one back, uh, which is the good news is you can buy it, try it out for yourself, see if you like it, and you can send it back. So I'm gonna send this back, but before I do, I wanna just show a video about how it works and talk about some of the things that are good about it and some of the things that are not as good about it. So this is how it comes out of the box. It comes with this uh, container that you fill up with water that goes in the back here. It comes with a glass pitcher and a plastic top. This is BPA free from what they told me and this has a sensor in it that goes into here. Now, interesting to note that this has a hole in it. So whenever you fill it up with water, and you leave it there, it's just open to air. They don't provide any way of closing this out. So unless you pour it into here and then pour it in something else, um, if you're just gonna use this, there's no way of keeping air from getting into it. I don't know if it's a big deal, it's just kind of interesting just to note. So it also comes with um, two filters, but they were already pre-installed, so I'll just uh, show you. Oh yeah, it also comes with a drip tray as well that I already installed. But it has two filters back here. Don't know the ease of changing these out because I'm not going to be doing it, but these are supposed to be changed out when the light comes on, I think every three months, possibly subscription. I just bought it as is without the subscription. The one thing that frustrates me about water systems in general is that you never know if the water is good or not. They say replace it, but there's no way of telling if it's still working or not. So anyway, that's another conversation in and of itself. So it's a very nice, sleek machine but there are a few issues with the sleekness. So the sleekness is nice if you put it back in a corner, um, but the plug is a big thing. You can tell it's, it's a really thick plug. So I originally was gonna put it on this counter and plug it in over here, but it just looks, it's just so thick, it doesn't look as nice. So I'll, it's five and a half, almost six feet long. So I was able to put it back here and run it underneath uh, and plug it in. So if you can find a way to do that, that'd be great. It's very long. So I'll show you the measurements right now. From back to front, it's about 16 and a half inches, which is pretty long. So I have a small apartment, which it was only two places for me to put it. It was either here or up on something else. The height is 12 and a half inches. The width is about six and a half inches. So it looks very nice, looks very sexy, but it is very long. So if you have a smaller apartment, it's hard to find a place for it to go, which is one of the issues that I have. So once you get it in, you find a place for it, you plug it in, it'll make a beeping noise. And what you're supposed to do is you take this container and you fill this up. So I did some measurements. So this is about a gallon if you fill it just above the max. So we're gonna fill it up right now. And you're supposed to fill it up and then you're supposed to run the water all the way through the system three times before you use it the first time. Now this is one of the downsides of this machine. It just takes a while. And I don't know if that's because you can see it doing it and hear it doing it. It just feels like this process just takes a while and you have to do it every time. So boom, we're filled up. This goes in the back. I'm just going to show you the back end here. There's two uh, places here where these hooks that are right here go into. So you just slide it down and then you'll start to hear it kick in. And there you go. So now it's going to cycle through. So it's kind of quiet, but it, it's also not quiet as well. 
So when you stick this in, this little sensor here goes here and then it tells this to pour water in. So that's cool. This part, I've already timed, takes, this whole process takes six and a half minutes to fill it up, which for me is a long time to wait for water. And then you have to do this twice is what you get out of a full thing that we just put back there. So some things to note, which I'll bring you over so you can look at this, is, you can see here, uh, UV, so this is a, supposed to be cleaning the water. Uh, this number does change, I don't know what the number necessarily means, but it goes up and down based on the water. You have a hot water button, and a dispenser button, and a reset button. So while it's filling this up, here's an issue that I found, there's no way to stop it when it's automatically doing this. See, I'm pressing that, it doesn't do anything. Very interesting. So the only way to stop it is to pull it out. But then you see water goes everywhere. So the only way I found that I can do it without water going everywhere is to pick it up a little bit, and then it stops, and then you can pull it out. So that's a little interesting that you can't stop it while it's dispensing. Now you can just stop it while it's suspending, dispensing if you do this. If you take the lid off and put it in here, it doesn't beep. So then you can just hit this button and then it will do it. But it won't stop automatically. You have to stop it yourself. Also well to note, there is a hot water button if you would like to use it. Uh, you can take the pitcher out and put a glass of your choice here. You just hit the hot water button, it'll turn red, and then you hit the dispense, and it'll come out. Now, one thing I've noticed is it takes a second to warm up, so this is not hot yet. Now it is turned hot, so that seems to be something that happens every time. Once, it, once you get it warmed up, let me see here. Yeah, once it warms up, it's hot, but that initial dispense is not hot. So if you've been using it for original filtering, it will take a second to warm up, which is a little bit of a downside. So then you just turn it off. We are gonna put the lid back on. And once again, boom. It'll make the noise, but you see, you can't turn it off and you can't do hot water either. Kind of makes me have to use the bathroom every time I hear it as well. <laughs> so the cool thing is you can pull it out now, pour the water out. Let's see how it drips like that. You can pour it into a cup. And then as soon as you put it back in, it'll, it'll fill all the way up to about right here. And it's about uh, a quart and a half. So you put roughly a gallon of water in here and you get three gallons of water to drink. But here is where the downside is. You have to then throw away the remainder of the water in here, which I didn't know about reverse osmosis system. So it cleans the water, but then it creates waste water. And that water has to be thrown out. So for me, it just seems like a waste. Uh, even though it is being poured into a sink um, and it, it's staying within the system, it still seems like a lot of ways to throw away a quart of water every time you use this. But as you can tell, it, it's basically brewing water. This part takes a while. All right, so we're going to let this finish, then we'll come back. All right, so it's still going on here a little bit longer, but I've Failed to mention, it does come with this huge uh, how to get it all set up kind of guide. It was a little confusing to me since I've never used reverse osmosis. I uh, didn't realize you had to throw away the wastewater and then I didn't know what it meant by running through it. So, But basically you run through it until up here says fill and you do that three times. But this also has a little scanner thing here that tells you how to do it. It's a little unclear, but I figured it out. All right, so we're getting to the end. And you can hear this thing makes noise the whole time. It'll make this noise until it stops siphoning the water through.
Okay, so it stopped pouring. So this is as much as you're gonna get, which is about a quart and a half. So you do this once. And then you do it again until up here says fill, it'll, it'll stop, which means you can pull it out and push it in and it won't do water anymore. So you do that three times to get your machine set up and then you could just do it as normal. Like I said, this process just takes, just seems like it takes forever. All right, so now it's siphoning the water through. So it stopped making noise and all you hear is this noise right here. And now you'll see up here, says fill so when that light blinks that means you got to fill it up but I'll show you when this is done filling up what that means okay so it stopped producing water so then you would just dump this out and this is for the setup obviously and then the way you know what you need to fill it back up is you put it in it won't dispense any water. You can do it this way, hit dispense. It won't dispense any because there is no water. Now here's the cumbersome part and one of the reasons why I'm returning it is because this part, like I said, I had, had it set back here. So in order to refill this up, you have to come back here, lift this up, and pull out this plastic thing and this was confusing to me at first, never using one of these. So this is wastewater. Now, when I first did this, I accidentally put this back in because I was confused and it started to suck this water up. So you could technically reuse this water, but the manual recommends not to do that because it will damage the system over time. So this is wastewater. So this is about a quart of water that is produced that gets tossed in the drain every time you do this every time you have to toss it out and then you fill it back up again so this is the just inconvenient part for me this just takes this takes time and you have to remove it and you have to dump out the water and then you have to refill it because so like oh why don't you just put it next to the sink and just fill it up we can't you have to throw out that water so once again, same thing, you fill it up. And then you pick it up. Makes it a little awkward because this is about a gallon of water. And it goes in the back. Sets down. And the process starts over again. So sometimes when I've used this, it starts dispensing automatically. Sometimes you have to take it off and put it on. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to do this until it beeps. Sometimes if you leave it on, it would automatically dispense or maybe it automatically dispenses whenever you fill it up. But needless to say, it'll do this, the water I mean, tastes fine as purified water. I know the one argument about reverse osmosis water is apparently that it brings the pH down, but I did purchase a, um, I do have a pH, pH meter I did buy specifically because I'm also getting an alkaline filter just to test the water. I tested this water and it's actually not too far off from the tap, which is about 7.3. Um, but it does fluctuate between seven and eight, so it's still, pretty decent pH right in the middle so it's from at least for my water it's not as low as everybody says it is the one downside people say about a reverse osmosis is it takes everything out of the water all the impurities as well as all the minerals so you're basically drinking almost a distilled water and as you do know you shouldn't be drinking distilled water for a long period of time I do know right now not with this machine but with a lot of reverse osmosis machines they are selling now remineralized remineralization kits to add minerals back into the water that this takes out 
but this machine from my understanding does not do that so it's up to you like I said, it looks sleek it's very cool it's very nice you know that is an issue for me but just having to take it up dump it out fill it up every single time you want water for me that's just a lot uh, it's nice sleek sexy I mean, water tastes like water to me. So, yeah. hopefully this helps.